there's so many things in my life where I get passionate about a subject or about doing something and then once i start doing it i give up for example youtube if you've been watching me for a while you know that one of my aims for youtube has been getting to 300 subscribers and currently we are around 250 and then once we got to 250 i started feeling scared i don't know why and especially because i wanted to change the route of the video and i started giving myself excuses i mean who will want to watch your videos now that you are not doing clothes who was even watching your videos while you are doing hauls having those kinds of doubts and like putting myself down and i guess that's why i haven't posted in a while but then i realized it's not something that happens only with youtube working out in the beginning of the year i set myself a target i said i want to lose x amount of kgs by this period and this is what i'm going to do to attain it and i made progress i lost like six kgs and i was so surprised and so proud of myself but then for some reason i started holding my myself back giving myself excuses like why do you think it's going to last for a while do you think you're going to be going to the gym at 6 a.m every day for the rest of your life is this something you can keep up with and then what what if you fail what if you do all this and then you gain back all the kilos i just discouraged myself in my mind for so long and then i gave up i went back again and thought if this habit has been happening and i realized yeah for example in high school I had this passion of drama and I liked doing acting. I participated in like two or three school plays and I felt like, yeah, this is something I really want to pursue. I love doing it. It's fun. Then I came to campus and I joined a drama club. I, I don't even think I ever told anyone that. But I joined a drama club. I went a few times and everyone there was like really good. And then I started giving myself the same excuses. Like what makes you think you'll be as good as those people? What makes makes you think you are, you are going to succeed putting myself down constantly until i stopped going and i stopped doing it and then i got like the interest of modeling i wanted to go for miss ku i went to a few practices i went to a few measurements you know it was going well like nobody looked me in the face and said you are not going to make it they just said you have to keep practicing i bought shoes i remember i did like a runway a mock runway and then i started like again bashing myself in my mind just telling myself you're not going to do it nobody really cares you're not going to make it that far and even if you do you are not going to win miss ku and then you'll be a failure so then it's just better for you to drop off and i did it i dropped off that as well and this is a habit that happens with a lot of things that i try in my life it makes me it makes me feel sad and scared i'm sorry i didn't plan to do this at all yeah it's really scary um even doing this now is a bit scary and i don't know if it's going to succeed or not but i don't want to hold myself back from doing things that i love Wow. I'm very proud that I made the first step of doing it. <sighs> There's never like a, a physical obstacle holding myself, like holding me from doing it. I get in my own way and I don't want to do it anymore. So anyway, I researched about this topic and I realized there's a lot of people who are feeling the same way and I felt like, yeah, maybe I should also, you know, open up and tell people that they are not on their own. I don't know why it's so hard. I practiced, I wrote some notes down and, you know, just saying it, saying it out loud kind of makes me feel better but also it's sad that i have given up on those things in the past but i don't want to keep focusing on those things that i have already given up on and that are in the past because who knows 
maybe you know my life would have gone very differently than it has now and i wouldn't be here but going forward i would not want the past to repeat itself i want to focus more on what is happening now and what's going on in my life and what i can do to change it because i can't change the past but right now i want to make those changes in my life one example is doing this which as you can see i'm very scared of anyway the question is how are we going to get through it there is one ted talk that i watched recently the guy in that video said he was facing the same thing for a long time and he said one of the things that he has learned over time i'm learning it now is to have shame resilience so basically is being ready to be embarrassed and sticking through it <laughs> when you put yourself worth so much in what you think people will think about you what you think people will say then you don't really move forward but if you are ready to face that if that happens you are, you just build that resilience through practice the more you practice it the more it will grow i'm guessing so this is so much harder than i thought it would be my voice is just all over the place um but that's the point that's the point of this new era anyway it's just to <clears throat> <laughs> it's just to challenge myself i guess i want to challenge myself and challenge those beliefs that i have of myself I could easily just be unboxing a bunch of clothes that I bought online and telling you why I like them and asking you to go and click and buy them if I like again, but I don't want to do that. There is a book about fitness that I read recently. <laughs> I now read books <laughs> anyway <laughs> um it's called burn the fat feed the muscle he said not to look at your workout journey as a failure and success thing to look at it like an experiment tell yourself okay let's try this workout that i have seen online and see if it will lose me five kilos in three months if in three months you have not lost your target then you look at the results you say okay i have not lost five kilos but i have lost two and a half what could i have done better maybe change my diet maybe change the workout maybe change how long i go to the gym from two days to like four days a week see if that changes give myself another three months and continue that's the mindset that he says we need to have and that's the one i have been having since i recently went back to the gym and i think that's the same way we should be or i should be looking at life as well everything is a variable don't give yourself ultimatums because that's what i have been doing for a long time i've been giving myself an ultimatum instead of success and failure it's just feedback you are just getting feedback from what you have tried so you can try something different kind of like an experiment If you think back the way we have grown up if you've grown up anything like me either in africa or wherever since you were born you have been conditioned to avoiding failure so like in school if you fail you get beaten up or or you get embarrassed or you get punished or your parents get mad at you so you are so scared of failing your whole life that you don't want to try anything that's uncomfortable it's okay to fail you know it's okay to not get exactly what you wanted as long as you are working towards something if i work hard at something and i don't get it then what's the point of even doing it that's that has been my mindset for a really long time once you embrace failing and and change the term from failing to feedback then the way you view the world kind of changes you never feel you do feel bad but it never puts you down to a point of giving up because you know you can do something different the other thing is about something i i read it's like a 30 minute video of an audiobook if i get it i'm going to link it down below if you have half an hour you can just listen to it and it's about something called a sphere of choice there is the internal sphere and then there's the external sphere so the internal sphere 
consists of all the things you have control of the external sphere consists of other people around you their reactions their thoughts your environment how people respond to things and funny thing even your thoughts belong <laughs> in the external sphere you don't have control over your thoughts do you ever sit down sometimes and maybe your idol or something and your mind just goes on a tangent it tells you like really big stories or like it tells you really negative things your thoughts actually are just things that happen to you sometimes yes you you steer your thoughts somewhere and you try to to tell them something but most of the time your mind is telling you things constantly for a long time i thought i am my thoughts and i am what i think so whenever i think like negative things or whenever i tell myself oh don't do these things because no one will care i think i'm the one who's telling myself that, but it's my thoughts those are things you can't control but what you can control is your attitude for example i'm doing this right now in the beginning it scared me so much and i didn't want to do it and obviously you guys have seen me going through the roller coaster directly but i have stuck the weight and i said i'm going to do it no matter what and i've come out the other side and now i know in the future when i'm doing more vulnerable videos like this yeah it's scary but i can push myself and challenge myself to do those things and still come out i'm still alive i'm still fine i'm in one piece and honestly right now i'm calm i'm more calm than i was beginning of this video when you are upset or when you are when you're frustrated or when things get hard you either suppress those emotions you either run away from them and number three you, you project if you are given those three options you'll probably choose one of them as your go-to but there is a fourth option that i don't hear people talking about a lot and it is taking responsibility even if we are scared of failing and we want to blame everyone else it's still us to take responsibility because nobody else can make you feel the way you feel and i think that's a topic for another day i'm going to end it here because i have already prepared something for that topic and if i keep going it's just going to be a long video of just random things if i'm to conclude anything from this therapy session that we have just <laughs> that we have just had is that instead of being scared of failing just look at it like feedback and say what can i do different for next time don't stop mm -hmm.